Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Core Keepers here today, and today I am delivering you guys the q and I had promised. Here is my trusty assistant, Alan, who may or may not have a YouTube channel, but not really. I probably have a YouTube channel, but I just haven't uploaded it, it on it without uh, uh, probably like three years. Great line delivery. Um, all right, so let's read some questions. All right, this first question comes from yours truly, the Jared Woody. I'll hit you with a triple. One, what's your most wished for Cory? Orange laser. Oh, that probably was too loud. Orange laser for absolute certain. All right, here's a second question. What brands of food would you avoid, if any? Tetra, man. Tetra. All right, and number three of his questions. It's too fatty. It's like... And it, it's not healthy. That, okay, that's all I have to say. Uh, number three of these questions: What draws you to keeping slash breeding Corridos? Corridos. <laughs> Corridoras. That's okay, like the, the. That's the scientific name. Um, honestly, it's a. It's a, It's a number of things. One, they they're great personalities for such tiny fish. They're they're fantastic in that way. Like, look at them. They're all over the place. <laughs> it's pretty great, right? Yeah, they're all over the place. Uh, two, they're, um, two, they're cute. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not afraid to use that word, I suppose, but because they are, they're, they're adorable. And they're, they're super interesting. Um, they're catfish, and everyone likes catfish, but they're little, they're Amazonian, they're tropical, they look like freaking pandas, and they're, they just, again, great personalities. You can, uh, one of my favorite things to look for when keeping quarries with, uh, super fine sand, you'll see little mounds and little, like, uh, check, like, your sand will often look like a checkerboard because quarries will, like, dig in one area, spit it out the next, so it's, like, like, little holes, like, everywhere, and I call those quarry mounds, <laughs> quarry mounds. Oh, hello. By the way, there's my snail, Alan. It's pretty oh. lit. All right. Are you ready for but, the next question? Yeah. And I do want to breed them. I don't have them. Uh, I've never bred fish before, but I... The, and I know these guys take forever to reach sexual maturity, so, you know. But I really want to breed them eventually. Uh, that's all I got to say. That lasted too long. Alan, go. All right, your next question comes from Dylan DeGoat. What's your favorite aquarium plan? Hmm. My Anubius has been, like, kind of fun to watch how it grows. My Java Fern's been frustratingly slow. Um, my Amazon Sword is frustratingly short. Uh, uh, I'm Wide Sag does not take kindly to bleach dips. Uh, <laughs> um, and so right now, I would say it's my Crypt. Um, let's uh, have some video pop up right now in my Crypt. It's pretty cool. It's got some reddish stems, and red's a kind of a harder coloration to get in plants. That no, it's like a really dark red and almost like a brown or black. It's, it's pretty red. Newer stems are redder. I like it. The plant grows really well, especially in my tank. It's literally everywhere at this point. There's little pods, freaking everywhere, and it's great. I love it. It's a wonderful plant. Would recommend. All right, you ready for the next question? So, next question comes from Sam Melianets. Melianets? Yeah, Sam at Melianets. Sorry if I butchered that, Sam. Um, so, what, what's the most expensive fish you have ever had? Hmm, well, um, well, my panda quarries are relatively expensive for, uh, uh, Cory Doris that you'll see pretty frequently. They're about eight bucks. Uh, adults, I believe, can run up to nine or over, um, like mature, I think. I think they can even be more expensive, if I'm not wrong. Um, your bank account, boyos, if you're on a budget. So yeah, huge school these will cost you, but one of the quarries I'm looking into uh, at some point will cost me about 50 bucks a piece, so. Ooh. That's that's why it's not my most most wished for Cory, but I, I do want it. Um, I'll have to see through time. But yeah, Corys are these guys are they they're 
like not they're pretty cheap relatively speaking but they're pretty expensive for uh like just you're kind of a pretty common fish um I think my honey grummy was my most expensive I think he ran me like nine or ten dollars I think I think and uh, I got him pretty cheap, I think, mostly because it came from a local breeder. And I think that's all our questions. All right, we have. Like, all right, and then we have one more comment uh, from Aquarium Cop. He says, "Love my Tory cats." Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. I actually have a question of my own. So, Ooh. That's gonna be really deep. Um, so my question is. What was your motivation for doing this? On, oh, well, that's a thing I wanted to do for like 300 subscribers, but I'll just say it was like kind of a rougher period of time. And I like saw a video from the King of DIY. I'm like, wow, you can keep fish like this. And I researched and that was a shell dwelling uh, a fish video, I believe. And, um, uh, I was like, you can keep fish like this, and I researched it into more, and I instantly got, like, was attracted to these Corydoras, especially pandas. Um, I don't think I even, like, remotely considered uh, anything more than the, the panda cory when I was researching it. It's just, it's, it's, it's a per, it's a, just, it's, it's a hobby, but it, it really gives you something to do, something to work at. There's... It's fascinating because I did six months of research, essentially, before I got my aquarium, and I still had no idea what I was doing. It's insane. I watched nothing but aquarium videos for, like, six months. It's pretty absurd how much there is to know and how much, and how much more you don't know, and it's just amazing. I really love this hobby, and I'm, yeah, it's, it's been a kind of a fun journey, especially launching this channel, and, yeah, I guess... I kind of got sidetracked, but thank you for the question. That was pretty great. Thank you for um, coming over to my house to do this lit Q&A. Uh, we'll be doing more of these. You can leave your comments for next episode in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I may or may not link it, but, you know, uh, I, I will, I'll link it, though. I'll link it. Link my Twitter. Do you have a Twitter? I have a Twitter. I'm getting an Instagram. Are you active on Twitter? I'm not active, but I want a reason to be. Okay. Here's a reason. There you go. Uh, <laughs> all right. Here's a um, reason. Stairs. There you go. There, there you go. Um, yeah. Uh, that's about it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I drew this out very long. Thank you guys for watching a lot. You guys are so awesome for, like, putting up with me and stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I honestly don't see how you guys do it. 130 subscribers now. Like, how did, how did you let this kid, the freaking, uh, the freaking this kid, <laughs> get here? I mean, this is just proof that humanity is doomed, but, you know. Um, uh, you know, just a little bit of a, a sidetrack, uh. Well, I'll thank you guys. <laughs> I think this is the fourth time I've said it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, Cory Keepers is signing off your boy, Dab. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to end We've it here. We've got a couple of hundred of them. <laughs>